What is up, guys? Midnight Sun 518 here, back with another episode of Empyreon Galactic Survival. Episode 17, I believe? Something like that. Oh, God. Why is everything dying? And I'm upside down. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so I believe it's episode 17. And we have more missions to do today. So let's do it. Actually, I'm going to eat some snackage. I like the sound of that. Num num. That dino stew. Delicious. Much um, very numb. Alright. You are in range. Yeah. I knew that. So, let's go ahead and open up the this. Nope. Ooh. Friendly. Neutral with the talons. Unfriendly with the pirates. Why is that? I didn't do anything to them. Just kidding. I did everything to them. Story part two. Okay. Activate. Interlude. Meet the glad. Looking back at your time in Andromeda, you feel like you've been stumbling from one event to another, making friends and foes as you go, but without being aware of the bigger picture. Your gut feel is that you are uh, is that there must be something that explains all this, even after showing your new allies the formation, sorry, information about the Talon, Xerax, and Legacy having a shre uh, shared history. Things are not getting any better. You are still in doubt as to the motives of the Galactic Liberation and Defense Organization. Uh, that's spelled wrong. Your partner, Alex, might be part of the group, part of this group and you understand they support Italian Italian rebellion against the Xerox Empire however most of this does not make any sense to you yet but things are about to change let's go new message Boop. hello friends we just wanted to let you know that we are uh, we have received all the information you recently found out about the Talon Xerox assembly and the war of silence Things are starting to make sense, although the information uh, are extremely fragmented. Our analysis will need, or, or our analysts will need some time to put things in the correct context of the big picture. At least we know the parts, or at least the parts we know about. Oh my God, reading is hard. That being said, we think it's time we meet in person. We owe you some answers. Find the Sigma Zero system situated in the area between Xerax, Traders Guild, and Polaris territories. Fly into the asteroid field in that sector. Sector, we'll send you our location when you arrive there. Sincerely, Section or Five. Find the asteroid field and approach the base. Um. supposed to go find the asteroid field I mean there's asteroids in the belt iron asteroid silicone asteroid the planetary remnants resupply some freighters there's nothing out here anywhere I don't really know where I'm supposed to go nobody knows There's that other planet. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Does this give me any any help? Activate the territories checkbox in the galaxy map. Find the Sigma Zero system situated between the Sigma Zero system. Activate territories checkbox. Galaxy map. Territories. Find the Sigma system located between the Talon. Sorry, Xerox Traders Guild and Polaris. Sigma Zero. So this is Xerox. Polaris is that. 
right there, pirate clan. I'm just reading all the names. Does this work? Oh! Wait a minute, that's where we are. What the heck are we supposed to do? I don't understand. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna try to figure out what the heck I'm doing here, and then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, I think I found it. So it's over here. I gotta like click on these things in order to find it. There it is, Sigma Zero. Uh, and I can hit lock target. Right? I don't really know how this works. <laughs> Maximum jump distance is 30, and I can only, I have to go 40 something. This is 16, it's 23, and then this is, so we can try to jump here. Lock target on them, All right? And then press K. You need to fly faster to warp jump, oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize my damn shield needs to be down. That doesn't make any sense. P. No, not P. Okay. Oh, buddy boy! We're going into light speed! Oh my god, that's so epic. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my god. There's a sun there. All right, let's look at the next one. Yep. Lock. All right, where are you? There's moons and stuff there. There you are. And go for it. God, that's so cool. Nice. Let's put our shields back up. Alright. I think this is it. Uh, is it it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's nothing here. mess up. It says Sigma Zero. It's between... It's in between the in-between of the Xerax and the Polaris and then your pirate plan. I don't understand. Sigma zero. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so I pulled up the Sigma zero, this thing, and it says, it's the nickname of a system situated nearly exactly between the Xerox Polaris and Traders Guild territories. Once a profitable claim, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's exactly where we want to be, is here. And it said there's an asteroid belt or something. I don't, uh, turn off the auto brake. Nothing's coming up on the scanner, so if there is an asteroid belt, it's really far away. Can we appreciate, though, how pretty this is? Look at that. It's gorgeous. 
solar flares popping out at random. Really cool. Although I don't even know how to even start looking for this asteroid belt. No idea. Just gonna kind of float around in space, I guess, until I find something. I think I got something. So I locked target with what looks like a bunch of rocks. So we're gonna go there and see what happens. Oh, I got the dang shield up again. It's off. <laughs> Come on. Oh, thank you. That would take a long time to fly over there. Cool. Asteroid belt. Or something. And then approach the base. So I guess we're going towards the GLAD hideout. Look like we're really far away from the sun now. Yeah, that would have been a ways. Um, <laughs> I was just floating aimless through, through space, so I was like, why don't I look at the, the solar system map? Anything out here? Oh, there's a lot of stuff out here. Yeah, this is the place to go. All right. Let's check out some of these things first, huh? Might be kind of cool. Might be something fun. My auto break off. Why are we looking on Pentaxid? Oh, okay. Use 25% of our Pentaxid just to get here. That's crazy. I guess we get four four trips. That's a lot of Pentaxid. Oh my lord. We need to find some, we need to find like Pentaxid asteroids. I know that one in our solar system was a Pentaxid asteroid, so I can go back and mine that. I just gotta get the multi turret. Which I think I have one on the back of this guy, maybe? Is that the one that's on the top there? Honestly, I don't know. I don't remember. Probably is. But we can use that to mine uh, asteroids and all the sort of stuff. And that'll make things go a little bit faster. Cool. We are on approach with this dude, whoever the heck he is. Hopefully you're not, you know, red. Ice asteroid. The heck do you need ice for? What kind of asteroid are you? Is this Goseum? Uh, I think I'm gonna hang out in mine for a little bit. I'll be back. All right, so we're at this thing. Uh, Glad hideout. And we're supposed to find Amherst. Where's the mark? Um, <clears throat> how do I do that? How do I make a sign? That's kind of cool. Just a bit of aesthetic appeal, you know what I mean? Bear with me, guys. Uh, this video might be a little weird. I have been... Nope. Uh, I've been gone for about a month. I've been busy working on some... Working on some stuff. My stories. Not really. Uh, but either way, I have not been here. And... So you, you must be brave, uh, the brave hero that we owe all that new data about the Talon Xerox and the legacy. I'm not a fan of mine. Please excuse my lack of actual excitement, but I just finished a 48th shift and was on my way to bed when Mercer said, you want to speak to me ahead of any new assignment that he might have to. New assignment? Oh, he didn't tell you? Sure. Must be some sort of Mercer family illness to not telling the one risking his life everything he needs to know. Same with his father, who brought us into this mess. Huh? Yep. Didn't you know? Lamar told me that Mercer Sr. made some mysterious in, uh, in intimations. I don't even know what that means. When she spoke to him ahead of all that trouble back on Apollo Station, she did not trust him at all, and she was absolutely right. Her literal... Her literally punching him into the face for all the bullshit he caused. 
It's a meme already. Uh, did not help us a lot. But that's something she'll have to explain to you in person. So, what do you want to know, kid? Any new clues from the info I retrieved? Okay, uh, I'm trying a brief summary. The Talons seem to have been refugees fleeing from the Triangulum Galaxy. Fleeing from something that we know as the Legacy. Still no idea what exactly that is, or what that exactly is. But it seems to be able to infect, control, and even convert biological beings and machines. Uh, Pentaxid, the fuel of the warp, our, our warp drives, and many other things, seems to play a role. The Ilmerinen, which you visited lately, was captured this way. Uh, when the unlucky crew digged up... dig up? That's not English. When the unlucky crew dug up a part of an infected Pentaxid asteroid and brought it back on board. Bad idea. That's all we know about the legacy so far. On the Talon topic, your latest information indicates that after the Talon arrived in Andromeda, they fell back into Barbary, um, but have made it back to the back to space in a short amount of time. They found and raised the Xerax, and because the Talon were more the more the brains than the muscles, the Xerax grew into a role uh, of the latter. After some decades of peace, War of Silence started when the Legacy managed to follow the Talon to Andromeda. We do not know yet how this happened. And also, uh, not how the war actually ended. But far as we can say, the outcome was that the Talon were nearly eradicated from Andromeda. Not by the Legacy, but by the Xerax. That, uh, that's where we still do not have a lot of information why this turned out as it did. You finding that cryogenized Talon prisoner named Karhan indicates that the Xerax turned against their century-long allies all of a sudden. We also know that the legacy was defeated. I, mean, I don't like their use of commas. There's like random commas in here, which usually means a pause. That shouldn't be there. Whatever. But not destroyed as when the War of Silence ended. And it seems that as the entity is coming back to life, or back to live more and more, as you see, uh, as, sorry, as you and others have already found out firsthand, man, I cannot read today. Taking all that into account, there is one thing that does not make up make much sense, at, at least to us. The Talon seem to be technically, technically, technically capable of doing next to magical things, but those are capable of hiding their knowledge even from their own tribes. We are now working with them for nearly a year, but they still keep it as a secret. They do not use their own abilities to their full extent. If you ask me, it's a bit suspicious, as if they are waiting for something. Anything else? Yes, maybe one word about the strange stick you found. You probably should keep that staff of guidance either on you all the time or in a safe but easy-to-reach place. I'm afraid we do not know what this device actually is or will do. I asked one of our Talon contacts, but he suddenly vanished and never reported back. Just a gut feeling, but have it ready when you need it, I guess. Thanks, Emerson. Next drink's on me. Cool, we talked to a guy. Story Chapter 7, Sigma Fulcrum. Woo. You have finally made contact with the remains of the UCH. Those that did not want to join Vice Admiral Perez have founded Galactic Liberation and Defense. Glad. Your partner, Commander Alex Lamar, and Captain Jennifer, Jennifer Zerogen, Zerogen were integral in, the, in its creation. Thanks to information you provided, the GLAD were able to piece together a vague outline of what is happening in Andromeda, but there is still much we do not know. In the meantime, the GLAD requests your assistance once again. Let's go! Scaring comm channel. Incoming message. Woo! Commander, please, let's meet in the command room. We need your... We need of your skills with a delicate problem we are facing. Okay. Is that it? Gotta find Mercer. Oh, he's up there. Yay! Up the stairs, I can fly. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Whoa. I don't like all these guns. Mercer! Commander, I'm afraid I need to ask for your immediate help. Emerson indicate, uh, it indicated something. We've lost contact with all our agents in a nearby Sigma Fulcrum station. This happens once in a while, but this specific agent not only was about to retrieve some valuable data from the caverns of the asteroid the station is built into, 
But let's say he's not the usual agent, and I'm afraid he was a bit too ambitious. Uh, then he was skilled for the task, and I'm running out of options. Sounds dramatic. I hope it's not, but if something happens to him, this is something I would never forgive myself. His name is Yarud. I'm listening. First things first, Yarud is a scientist who's running the exotic materials lab when the station was still under Polaris control. He had some disagreements with the management of the station, which is said to uh, have led to the station being abandoned and later being captured by pirates. The role of the station was never fully revealed, and more astonishing, the Polaris did not even make an attempt or any attempt to regain control. That was about 10 years ago. Today, the station is known as Sigma Fulcrum, run by a civil management and reportedly used by the Silurian clan as a main base of operations. Silurians are not the run of the mill pirates. They are, in fact, high tech hackers, counterfeiters, hijackers, traffickers, smugglers, forgers, and run successful business operations on the sectors they operate on. In the last months, the station also became a source of a new drug. <laughs> That word. We would have taken the trill. Why didn't they just say that? As they call it. As just another drug. But then Yard came into play. He contacted one of our local agents pretending the drug contained substances that cannot be found in this part of the galaxy. Maybe not even in Andromeda. That caught our interest. As the local agent was killed and what they say was an accident, Yard volunteered to find out more. He said the source was somewhere down in the machine hall uh, level of the asteroid in the belly of Sigma Fulcrum. Just before you arrived, we got an emergency message from the station calling for help, signed by Yarud. It would be extremely important to get him out of there and take any valuable information with you. For this to work, you should be at least neutral reputation with the pirates, although you will not. this will not help you with some of the Silurian guys. Prepare for being attacked out of nowhere, but do not try to create too much havoc, please. I will do my best. Anybody else notice this looks exactly like the other pirate base that we took down? Looks like they're copy paste. Cheap skates. Alright, where's the upstairs? Not that way. It was this way. Yay! Hello, Mr. Turret Guy. Ooh. Lag. Lag. Oh god. Well, this should be exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I am I am ready to adventure. So I need to find the station. Sigma Fulcrum. I wonder if I have to like fast travel. Light speed, warp speed. Warp! There it is. Alright, you are out of range of the base, whatever. Sure. What is that? Asteroid, asteroid, asteroid. That. That is my solar system. Alright, find the station. Donde esta? Where am I supposed to go? That's the real question. Uh, Sigma Fulcrum is in the same system. Warp to the station symbol on the system map. Station symbol. <laughs> what are you on about? Could be that thing that's 14 miles away. Could be any one of these. But who knows? These are all... There's a system map. You sure it's not over here? Alright, I'm going to fly around. Uh, when I find it, I'll be back. So we haven't found it yet. Uh, I ended up jumping to this one. We were over here and I jumped over here. I couldn't find it over there. But I came across this guy. Check it out. I also marked a whole bunch of other things on the map. Uh, some of them are, I think, enemy spaceships. Thrusters. 
think there's much here. I don't see any storage. Well, that was boring. Where's my ship? There it is. Spirit of Adventure. So much for that. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the next little target spot. That's also cool. I'm actually gonna eat some food. Because I am starved. Some oxygen. Nope, that's my clone chamber. Alright, I'm gonna head to the next spot and then I'll be back with you when I get there. Meh. Just another wreckage, probably nothing good here. Get a little bit closer and just kind of take a peek at the outside, but I'm not going to bother going in. Okay, well, so much for that one. What's next? Let's see, that is a far, long, long way. We're gonna go to this one, 6.82 miles. We're gonna check him out. Be back. Might be a bad decision, but I'm gonna go mess with this guy. Intercept course. Let's go take this guy out. It's a level six ship, so I might be turning around and flying very fast the other way. But who knows? Take him out, take him out. to here because you know it said don't leave there but I flew all over and I didn't see anything so I don't really know what I'm looking for it says find the station it said it's within the same like map area but there's nothing there got the glad hideout and that's about it Turn my shield back on. See? It's all... Um... Stuff. I don't know, maybe we can go out here somewhere. Move on approach. Sure. Where is that uh, marker that I just threw down? Over there? Nope. New marker. I guess I'm gonna fly out this way a little ways and hope that we find something cool. So that, whoop, I don't know what happened there. So there is actually nothing out here. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this. It says Sigma, Fulc Sigma Fulcrum is in the same system warped to the station symbol on the system map. So system map is this. 
right? Or is this no? This is system map. Okay. I don't see a station symbol on on the system map unless it's talking about this, which kind of does look like a station, right? But I was just there, and I warped there, and I didn't see anything. You know what I mean? Turn off my shield. Full speed ahead. I didn't see anything. So, unless I'm blind. Let's look here again. Maybe there's something. Turn on the shield again. Go to the map. That's a massive aluminum asteroid, I'm just saying. Wreckage, 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 wreckage. These things. And if I ping, survey says, it doesn't pull up anything else. I think it... I don't understand. I'm here. Station's everywhere. There's freighters. There's a lot of wreckage. There's nothing else. So... I don't know what I'm messing up. Just tell me anything. Map symbols for sectors. Yeah. What about this one? Nope. Um, system info. Didn't say anything about. I will take any and all advice because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I don't know where I'm looking. And I, I can't just select this because it's not going to show me where it is on the map. It's just going to assume that I know where it is. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, any and all advice, very welcome, because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. That's just going to be another uh, free colonist freighter. I will see you guys next episode, I guess. Uh, hopefully some comments will be able to help me out here. Um, yeah, enough stalling. Sorry this one's so short. that i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time good night